You are all alumni of the University of East Anglia. It's where dreams go to die, but I, I just need the cash. And then you met David. I still want to hear what David said. David and the Oxsock were about truth. I may be awkward, but I'm not a complete moron. Oxsock. It's all a bit sensitive. Raman. Raman. Alicia Yuko. It's pronounced Alicia. One of my most valuable finances is based in Norwich. Um, I run an antique shop in Lowestoft. I currently am living in a camper van. Starpoint Games have moved down to... Uh... Norwich. David invited to take part in a great happening. Have a run. And that was when you cut your hand. Do a bit of yoga. Could you hook me up today? You did not expect Sarah Moore to be the one who would bring you all together. I do believe in foresight. Alicia, how do you think Gary dies? He said, he said he killed my Gary. Give her a minute. Let's, let, let's try and keep our voices down. Right, take a breath. He heard about your poor Gary's death and he used that as part of these mind games that he's playing. Yeah, raise right, raise right. Tell us calmly what this is all about. That's the shit the dreams are made of. You see for a moment, it's almost like she looks a bit absent. I did feel my palm itching slightly. And you see someone step away from behind Eric Wilson in the reflection of her eyes. If I whip round, is there anyone there? Eric, you've not been well. I can see that. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm... What's wrong with him? He's got Sarah? cancer, hasn't he? Fuck. I didn't know. I might drop my gin and tonic glass that just smashes. <laughs> Let's use the bathroom. Emoticon. You pull the other eyelid down and it and it just starts to slightly pull away. Uh, yeah, she's definitely lying. Anything to get you on side. 1895. Stacey, I mean, they basically locked her up in a ward. I mean, <laughs> oh my God, you think this is about money? I'm an accountant, an independent financial advisor. Every, everything comes down to money in the end. This is about love, Eric. Big deep breath. Let's get some fresh air and we're going to help you. We're going to help you, Sarah. And you push the arm of the cardigan up and you see a track mark. When they told me Gary died, they never told me how the accident happened. Her head just lolls slightly further forward again. What reflections am I seeing in the windows? I'm going to wait for them. I am unwell. I put my hand on his hand. How would she know? How would she know? This motorbike crashes into a van. Bridget doesn't know about any of this. You see stepping out from behind the van. I think he's all right. I think there's enough people there. A man in a tweed suit. Do I recognise him? With gold-rimmed glasses. Have I ever seen him before? And then he looks straight at you. We have to help. We have to see if we can help. Gold circles. Two gold circles. Uh, let me look for somewhere to pull over. And I... Just drive. We just, we've got to drive. I put my hand over Sarah's mouth. The guy on the bike turns round with my other arm try and hold her still and it's Gary 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 Players present The Moonchild by Paul Fricker. A 7th edition Call of Cthulhu scenario from the Nameless Horrors collection. Starring Dominic Allen as Alicia Duico, Dan Ann McAleer as Ray West, Jeannie Spark as Melinda Moody. Dan Wheeler as Eric Wilson and Joseph Chance as your keeper of the arcane law. By the time you get to the old Catton estate, it's 4.30. Sarah Moore's rather run-down-looking apartment, ground floor entrance, two floors. It's a stack of the f- blocked apartment um, buildings. Uh, um, not apartments, I suppose. They're, it's like a kind of house, but it's, it's almost like a box. It just goes straight back. 
and there's a sequence of four of them and then a gap with an alleyway that runs between them, and then another sequence of four of them and then a gap. Um, there's Pebble Dash marking the uh, alleyway entrances and Pebble Dash on the walls. Where dreams go to die. But you've reached 84 Herschel Crescent, Old Catton. And I think it's fair to say that you've arrived with a slightly new perspective on things. Mm. 84, was that Herschel Crescent? 84 Herschel Crescent. And it's still about half past four? It was half past four. Okay, thanks. When you arrived. Nice. Still light, of course. It's, uh, it's, It's before the clocks go back. Or is it? Hang on. 28th of October. June. Uh, June. No, it's October. July. We're in June. It's October. Yeah. Is it before they go back? I think it's before they go back, doesn't it? They go forward. May? They spring forward. They go back. They go back in November. Yeah, go back in November. I'm pretty sure it's November. Mm. Anyway, so it's a lovely evening, so it's still light, regardless of, of British summertime or, or, or British uh, saving time, whatever. Look it up. I think along the way, there's a few thoughts kicking around in your mind, and I just want to sort of rewind for a moment for each of you as you travel towards Sarah's flat. Eric, the thought of the confidence trick is is bothering you. Mm. There's just too many there's too many things not adding up. And as you're driving, you know, you're well past the Elsham Road, moving through what stands for an urban district of Norwich. Your mind is is well versed in this kind of thing where you're sort of trying to work out the maths of it. Mm. And it's just not adding up for you. Mm. If it is a confidence trick, it's not going very well either. <laughs> uh, so the, but there's definitely things that you're missing. Mel I keep calling you Mel. Melinda. You can call me Mel, it's all right. Mel. I think those moments of absence... Just don't call me Linda. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Mel and Linda. Those moments of absence. You you think about the weird guy in the tweed, and you're thinking... I mean, it must have just been a weird guy in the tweed. I mean, like, it's an odd old part of town. Maybe it's some sort of... It's just a dude. Maybe he works in one of the historical buildings, and he's one of those weird guys, like a kind of... He likes dressing in 1930s, 40s clothes, maybe 30s, 20s even. I don't know, it was old, really old-fashioned. Were they plus fours? Did you get a glimpse of that? I'm not sure. One of the things that really sticks in your mind is the golden frames. And the more you think about it, they just become these sort of two golden discs. And that actually makes you feel slightly uncomfortable and you stop. Uh, but you have this sort of image of them as two golden discs, and it, it sort of seems familiar to you. you know? You may have an idea why, or you may not. Alicia, your suspicion has been increased, and one of the things that... I I don't know if you're chatting to Eric or not, but along the way, you you remember feeling the thinness of Sarah's arm. Mm. Um, Still strong. I'm like, she was strong, and like there was a definitely... There was a resistance to you that surprised you as to how strong she was in that second... Uh, but also your hand slipped down because you were trying not to be too hard. You were trying to do it kindly as well as firmly, which, you know, you did well. You did really well to do that. But as your hand went into hers, you felt the roughness of the scar in her palm. Mm. Mm. Which is the same. That's You, you too have that. Mm. Are you right-handed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yours is on your left hand too and her so you you caught her with your right hand and her left hand was trailing classic mm. you felt the scar in her left hand mm. Ray as you're driving and you're making sure Raman's okay and because he's been a bit overexcited about stuff like broken glasses and people shouting and then this car was yeah he's, uh, how, is he nervous as, as a dog he's alright generally he's um, you know I've trained him well so you know, he's he's quite outgoing, likes people, but he's he's not aggressive. So it, you know, it will have shaken him up a bit. So, <laughs> you know, I've got him there next to yeah. me on the passenger yeah. seat, and, and oh. obviously that that involves you, and driving involves you as well, because you don't know the way that well. But you um, 
Mm. You, you start getting some direction. I, sort of, I think I knew the way to, to Catton, but it, I'm going to ask. Sarah through. gives you direction yeah, yeah. there. And, uh, but yeah. on the way, I think one of the things that's preying on your mind is that you were, you, you were struck as well by how Eric was asking about Bridget. And it, mm. Eric's words ring in your mind where he said directly, you know, what time does David get back? I mean, should we go and talk to Bridget or maybe we, maybe I could call her? Yeah. And that was when things started to go a bit weird back at the cafe. Mm. And you always liked Bridget. There was always a bit of a yeah. chemistry there. In all truth, there was a bit of a chemistry there between you. Hmm. She, I mean, she was really lovely at university. I mean, I'm, she's a lovely woman, but I mean, you haven't seen her since. Yeah. Uh, but she and David always, they had a special bond. Mm. Uh, and, you know, it's no secret that they definitely slept together around there. But, like, David slept with yeah. quite a few people. You're particularly aware. You might even know a few people that he slept with that the others don't. Mm. Because you always had that sort of slight inside line to his... You were one of his, hey, Ray, you get things done. That's true. Yeah. And you were the one who was sat in the bar with him. He was saying, I feel like we need to elevate some special people. And you were the one who said, yeah, why don't we use a magical number? And have, how many, how many did you suggest? Uh, well, it was, it was, it wasn't the 13, was it? It wasn't. I don't know. Can you, uh, how drunk were you? Well, I think maybe I've gone back to that moment in my memory a few times, especially now I'm going through it because the the pangs of guilt over if he has become this sort of quite monstrous figure and all the damage that's sort of crept out like, you know, a vine from that moment. I, I realise I was under a spell to a certain extent. can't remember. Was it was it just us, the the sort of the main... Was it just Was it just the two of you? Well, maybe that's what I suggested in a moment of sort of selfishness did, and ego, did, perhaps. Did you, I, I did think I could be the right-hand man. Did you say... Was it your idea? Did you say 13? I think I did. I think I did. And I think you were sort of debating about this until at one point you nearly make a mistake driving and... and yeah. Then, oh, fuck. Sorry. No. Sorry. We'll, uh, we'll be returning to that one. Yeah. So you're there outside 84. Sarah says... Oh, do, we, look, guys, would you mind? It's a bit of a mess inside. I, I wasn't really expecting you to come back. I didn't didn't really think that through. Would you mind if I um? Look, you could you could come in and just uh. Uh, I, th- I think Sean will probably be in the front room, but could you just give me like one minute, and I'll just uh, tidy it up. Yeah, of course. I'm saying that Ray still got there first in the car, and Eric's pulled up just a few seconds afterwards. Mm. So I think Eric and Alicia, you see her getting it, Sarah getting out. Maybe all of you getting out? I don't know. Melinda, do you think this is something that you would go with? Can I give you a hand, Sarah? Do you want do you want an extra pair of hands to you know, you won't shock me. Oh, uh Yeah, all, all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll come in with I you. Spo- I'll come I, in. I suppose so, yeah. Um I suppose so. Come on, come on here. And I think I'll put my arm around her and help her up and up to the front door. Mm. So while uh, while you're going up there, okay. In which case, I will give. Can I have a spot hidden from Alicia, Ray, and Eric? But I'm afraid to say, Melinda, you're very engaged. So I think that's with a penalty die for you. So it's a very smooth drive, Eric. Is that oh a one? The mileage on this thing. I I, I am. Uh, completely distracted by um, Alicia saying it's a very smooth drive and I have fumbled, I've rolled a 98 on my uh, 35 spot hidden I've also wow. failed wow. I've got an 83 <laughs> on my 55 because I'm just so interested in the car Yeah. Oh, oh, the detail thanks, thanks. It's, it's, it's quite new I, it's, um, <clears throat> I, I have it on high, higher purchase, I, I would have preferred to have bought it outright, I know it's not good value, but whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you want to be yeah. careful when, what? if you've got it on higher purchase, you want to make sure you don't get a ding. <laughs> well, quite. Uh, I'm a normally a very careful driver. I know, Eric. You're a very good driver. Very conscientious. I've noticed that. 
<coughs> I don't think we even slipped above 20 there. I mean, as much as I hate to interrupt this most scintillating of conversations. No, but... What? <laughs> so, so two fails, one extreme... Yeah, I think because I've got Raman on his leash and I'm sort of looking, but because it's a bit of a rough area, I'm probably really scanning the grass for any broken glass, yeah. anything like that, and sort of looking up at the buildings, you know, in that protective sense. So I'm just, I'm sort of hyper focused. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, 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 it's a really behalf, good point. And mine was a fumble, so presumably I have seen something. Oh, sorry, I misheard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's perfect. That is perfect. Oh, yeah. Um, and just to check with Melinda Moody. Extreme. With her, yeah. with her. <laughs> oh, an extreme. Maybe it's a fumble. Catastrophic. A, a, a fumble. Yeah. Again, a ni- a, a ni- also a 98. Oh, wow. Two fumbles. Wow. You've managed to get the heater <laughs> to the exact temperature of human blood. It's very comfortable. <laughs> it's your second fumble. <laughs> it's the second fumble on Spot Hidden, Jeannie. Wow. That's, that's, that's quite remarkable. It's all right, thank you. Uh, no, I mean, it's just really unlucky. Wow. It's just amazing. It's really unlucky. The first roll really of the unlucky. sessions. Really good. Mm. So, Eric... With your fumble, I'm going to go with you first. Mm. Mm. It's sort of four blocks, four block houses, ground floor, first floor, uh, square roof, nothing, so a flat roof. Um, probably built in the late 70s. Uh, really ugly buildings. Uh, and just at the, on the right-hand side, four houses, uh, three, sorry, three houses down, you're in the f- second house along. So three houses down to your right. In the alleyway, you see a hooded figure standing and his pale face ducks back. But you know that move. That's a dealer. Yeah. 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 Do you do anything or say anything in that moment? or? Yeah, as we... Um, so as, as, we, as we pull up and I catch a glimpse of that, I, uh, I sort of park up to... Oh, it looks looks like this is this is it. There, um, uh, there appears to be just sort of standing outside. And I open the car door and say, "Are we? Uh, we're not. We're not going in. Are we? Uh, we w- w- waiting for something?" I think you say that, and I mean, obviously, it makes absolutely no sense because the two of them are walking away, and they just ignore you completely. <laughs> and I think it's, you are totally distracted, and it doesn't make any sense. But you're outside of the car. But Ray is not going in, right? Ray's no. Ray just was just getting out. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're not that far behind. He wasn't standing still. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You were pretty close. Fine. Yeah, but you've got out of the car. Just what I'm doing with that. Alicia, have you got out of the car as well? Yes. Yes, I slowly get out of the car. Yeah, you're on the roadside, obviously. So you're that little bit further away from the house. Mm. Ray and Eric are on the other side on the on the pavement. I think Melinda's already halfway up the path. You see this figure leaning round. Uh, Melinda Moody. It's like a teenager, like a kid, it's like a it's like he's wearing a hoodie and he sort of snarls a bit and and walks up off the alleyway. And you feel very exposed mm-hmm. in that moment. Mm-hmm. You've been thinking about this guy, this weird guy who was watching, and then there's this sort of weird figure in an alleyway, and there's... You worked really hard to find some inner calm, aside from the bottom yeah. of a bottle and and well, dancing that's... your mind out and and losing your marriage. So th- th- this is this is a little bad psychological moment for you. Do you do you, do you have the heart on you? I do. Yeah. Is it on your person or is it in your bag? Uh, it's in my bag, but I've got my bag over my shoulder. So and. When you were fired for stealing the heart, mm-hmm. they asked for it back, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I said I burnt it. And you'd lied. Yeah. But I think you very clearly remember in that moment when one of your friends, really, I suppose he suppose he was a friend. I mean, maybe he'd always had a little bit of a soft spot for you. What, Steve? Uh, um... You called him Steve. That always struck him mad um, yeah. because, of course, he was Stefan. Yeah, whatever, uh, Steve. S- Stefan Longville. Touch his prick. Uh, and but Steve, nah, big Steve, had asked you for coffee. He'd asked you for coffee, and you'd had that conversation with him. And there's that moment from that conversation, which we will go back to. But there's that moment from that conversation where he reached his hand across the table and said. I just don't want you to leave, Melinda. Not like this. If you, 
If you give me the heart, I will take it back, and we can make this go away. And what was it you said? I said, I don't have it, Steve. <laughs> I don't have it. It's gone. I haven't got a heart to give you. And, and, and then you're at the front door, and she, and she turns to you and says, Look, I'm serious. Would you mind just checking in with Sean while I, while I go in? Please, please don't come into my bedroom. It's just such a mess. All right, yeah, OK. I'll stay in the front room with, with Sean, that's all right. Thanks. Thanks. I, I knew you'd understand. Yeah, just of course, don't make, worry. make sure the others understand. Yeah. No, it's all right, don't worry. And she sort of fumbles around with her keys and she looks... You think you, you, think you maybe see her glancing up at the alleyway as well, but there's no sign of that, that guy anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's opening the front door. Uh, Ray, you were... Um, you were a good, f- good few meters uh, down the path, but but you've let them have five, ten yards space. Space, uh, and you yeah. see this, you see this drug dealing kid on the corner, and he ducks away like he's mm. guilty as fuck. Yeah, uh, you rolled a one, right? Yeah, yeah. And as as you're looking, you sort of you have the reaction. Yeah, I, I mean. I think he's relatively liberal-minded. I mean, he knows it's a pretty downtrodden area. He's not going to be... He's not the sort to, like, immediately grass anyone up. <laughs> you look down, and is, have you got some multiple uh, companion ramen? I've got some bags. Got ramen on the, uh, on the lead? <laughs> yeah. You see it in a sequence of astonishing connections. There's a slight dampness to the grass, and it glints, and then you see the heroin needle, and you see the dog going towards it, and you pull the dog back... And you look up and you realise that is a drug dealer, that is a heroin needle, and it almost certainly is to do with the fact that maybe he was waiting for Sarah. Yeah, because I, I saw the tracks, right? No, no. When But you just get this strong... Oh, I, oh, OK. But I make the connection anyway. Strong connection. Yeah. Like, she's lost loads of weight, she's got this tired look. Which of us was it who saw the track marks? I think it was me. Wasn't it? Alicia. Yeah, yeah, of course. Alicia. Which I th- I think she's implied to you, Eric, mm. strongly, in the car. Mm. There might be. Yeah. Also, I mean, like she did say, Sarah said, yeah, yeah. I've been having a tough time a bit. On the heroin. I mean, she's not being honest, yeah. but yeah, it's pretty obvious that obviously she also importantly psychically said that she understood. Yeah. Your yeah. cancer, Eric, and uh, oh, and of course, Alicia, you you had been t- talking to Alicia about that in the car in slightly more detail, but the other two of you do know that. She considers it's been a psychic gift that she's been able to work out that Eric's got stomach cancer. Mm. Yeah. Which drove Eric into the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I th- in that moment, I think, Raman's done his business, so I've got the bags out, I've picked that up, and as I'm tying it, I look down and I'm scanning around, I see the needle, and I think I yank, yank him away on the lead, rougher than I usually would, just out of necessity. And uh, maybe he sort of whimpers and I, I pick him up. I'm glancing down where I saw the guy head. I, I put him in the papoose immediately. I'm not fucking about. Um, and suddenly I'm quite angry because, you know, it's not just a little weed dealer. This serious shit, and I realise the connection. He must have been waiting for her to come home. And he's leaving. Yeah. they're leaving needles about. And I'm not sure who I'm more angry at, her or him, because I don't know who's left that there. But it's either way, I'm not a vigilante. I'm not going to chase after this guy but it's certainly uh, I think back to the cafe conversation and I know the others have discussed this con artist this confidence trick angle and I was trying to ignore it but there was something she said in the cafe that caught my eye Mm. caught my attention rather which was when she was sort of blurting out all sorts of stuff in this panic of whether to leave or not and she said really anything to get you all on board Mm. Or something to that effect. And it suddenly seemed quite disingenuous. It seemed like she'd maybe slipped up. And she also reacted very badly when Eric tried to give her some financial advice. Out of kindness. Yeah. Almost like the lady just protested yeah. too much. And actually, so it, was, it was pretty I good advice. Thinking, she, I mean... Yeah, and it was. And it was clearly from a good place. And her reaction being that vitriolic, mixed with the fact I now realise she's probably on heroin, she's probably down on her luck. She doesn't want to admit that. It's all lining up, and maybe this—the end game here—is she needs money. 
but she's too ashamed to sort of come out and say it, so she's trying to trick us into giving it somehow. Maybe she's made all this up about David. Maybe, I don't know, but my mind's just filled with this, and I'm worried about her because, of, you know, it's a serious addiction, but I'm, I'm just mulling all that over, I think, and suddenly I'm... And I think it's fair to say that you also, with the Extreme Zero One, you see Alicia... Yeah. Uh, are you approaching the path, Alicia, or are you sort of hanging with Eric? I... Ooh... Because Eric is stock still staring off at a, a, a an alleyway right now. I mean, if I notice... He sort of said he said something to, to them, but it doesn't really make any sense. If I notice that, I'd probably talk to him over the roof of the car and say, yeah. is everything all right, Eric? Oh, yeah, of course. I was just um, I was just thinking maybe, you know, it looks like uh, they're taking their time going in. Maybe I should just do a circuit of the, the block and see if I'm... You know, size the place up, see if uh, see if there's any sign of uh, anyone hanging around wa- watching the place. You know, do you mean D- in the car? No, no. I thought on foot, maybe. Oh. You know, what if D- David might be hanging around, keeping an eye on the place? I should, I should come. With, you shouldn't go alone. No, no, no. I, absolutely, I should go on. I should go on my. I'll come with you. Oh, that's a good idea. No, 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 no. Because I think um, you, you could say that I had another funny turn, like in the in the cafe, and I just needed a bit of air. And actually, I, you know, I, I know you can look after yourself, of course, Alicia, but I just wonder whether, you know, I, I, I might, I, it might be safer in case, you know, this isn't a very, I don't know how well you remember this bit of Norwich, but Ka- old Catton is, uh, that's what I'm saying, Eric, you shouldn't be going around on your own. Oh, no, no, look, Alicia, I, 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 do, I do know how to look after myself, I know. <laughs> You've got cancer, Eric. <laughs> Could you give me a power roll, Eric? <laughs> Anything to shut them up. (laughs) 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 That's a fail. Not quite a fumble, but it's a fail. Yeah, you just... You you need to follow him right now. That's a physical compulsion to follow that guy. Um, listen, you could... You do what you do what you want to do, Alicia. Alicia, you do what you want to do. But I, I'm just, I'm going to go. He starts he starts walking away whilst talking. I follow him, trotting to keep up with him. Yeah. So Alicia starts following. She's trotting. I think I shout over my shoulder if I see them leave. I just say, "Careful on the grass. There's needles." Well, Ray, I think you watch this. You you watch this. And you're saying careful, but also you're just watching this madness. They're like, what are they? What are they doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, he's backing away. She's trotting after him. They're not yeah. even trying to come up the path now. Yeah. And I think you you look back as the last bastion of, of sanity. Oh Christ! As Melinda, could you give me a power roll as well? <laughs> oh wow! That is a four on a sixty. Boom! Hello. Right. Well, in which case, I'll give, I'll give you a choice. Uh, so, obviously, this woman is lying to you, right? But there's something going on. The last time you thought about the heart without being prompted, some bad things happened to you. Yeah. You would never made that connection until now. Mm-hmm. There's either a story here, which you could write. Mm-hmm. Or maybe there's something hidden in this house. Okay. You, you choose which one of those two you're going to go for, but boy, oh boy, you're going to go for it. There's something hidden in this house. Right. Mm. And the door is open for you as she sort of sneaks in and she goes straight into the front room, of course. Uh, there is a nine-year-old boy on the sofa playing a computer game. <laughs> Joystick in his hands. And there's a, quite a large plasma screen in the corner it's one of those small houses where there's just nowhere to... Like, the shoes scattered along the side. And that's it. You see girls' shoes, sort of 16-year-old, 15, 16-, 17-year-old. Quite fashionable trainers. And then you see some women's shoes scattered. That would be Angelica. It's one would assume. And then you see the boys' shoes just sort of kicked off. The place is covered in signs of snacking. The kids obviously been snacking. Mm-hmm. He, barely, he barely breaks his stride, looks up at you kind of goes, oh, new person, looks back at the screen, there's an explosion, a riot of pixels, annihilates some something's brain. Watch out, Genie. He's nine. He's probably a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Almost certainly. <laughs> of all the ages. Of all the fucking ages. All I'm going to say is, I've ch- <laughs> I'm, I'm changing nothing. Yeah. You, usually, usually Joseph changes shit ton. He's written as nine. He's written as nine. What are the chances? <laughs> Good. Uh, Fricka, Fricka Roti, not me. 
There is a fireplace on the right-hand side. There's a door dead ahead, mm-hmm. and she and she heads straight for it. And she, and she says, "Sean, this is my friend. This is my my friend Melinda. You've been nice to her. Okay, she's going to stay with you just for a moment." And he just goes, "Sure, mum." Doesn't even look at her. Mm, okay. She kind of casts a sort of <laughs> uh, face back at you as if kids, uh, but you barely buy it. And there's something about the speed with which she's moving. Mm. You know, if you hadn't had a fumble outside, I'd let you have a psychology roll, but you're just a bit you know, too distracted. Okay. But anyway, you are inside, the door closes, and you're in there with Sean. Yeah, okay. Cut back to Ray, who is on the path and overheard uh, a little just whispered of, like, would you tell her? Would you tell them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and obviously she didn't. She just went straight in. She just gone straight in with them. So, but I think you overheard enough to know the whole picture. Yeah. Um, and I feel like, but the, and also these two, they're off. The other two appear to be on some kind of weird mission off the alley. Away. I mean, they're adults. I'm, you obviously yeah. you saw you saw the guy. You know, I think I do shout over, quite loud, maybe louder than I need to. Careful, there's needles on the grass. You know, in a way, sort of admonishing any drug dealers that might be nearby, but also trying to warn them. Um, <laughs> a curse under my breath. Fuck, fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> the sound bounces off the pebbled ash of the houses opposite, the identical houses opposite. <laughs> the sky has yeah. turned quite grey ever since, ever since that conversation in the car park. Yeah. Um, it was quite bright think... earlier today. Forecast's supposed to be nice for the weekend. Yeah. How far away are they? Could I jog over and catch up with them? Yeah, you definitely could. Because I've got one eye on the door, which I assume is still sort of half... Uh, well, not half open, but I'm assuming they're She not said, give me a minute. Door. I mean, she said, give yeah. me a minute. So... There was no sound of locking, but it could be that... I'm like, Melinda's in there, so you've got a woman on the inside. And I know Melinda can take care of herself. Um, oh, yeah. Definitely. So I think I do jog after them, just because in that last moment, I think, maybe they didn't see that guy. And... He could be dangerous. I mean, if he's a heroin dealer, I mean, who, uh, I don't want them getting mugged. So I, I check Brahman's in his papoose and I say, guys, wait wait a second. Uh, and I, I sort of jog after them. Now, Alicia, I feel like there was a fumble by you. So I feel like you do have the agency to catch up to Eric if you want to run up to him. But how fast are you going? Uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm keeping pace with him, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So he's just that little bit ahead of you, but you're not sort of running right up next to him. No. 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 Not yet. In which case, I'm going to say that th- the three of you essentially are heading towards the alleyway. And Ray, if you want to catch up, you're going to have to properly run. My move rate is only six. Yeah. I, I think I will. Okay. I mean, no, no harm in it. <laughs> yeah. So that's <laughs> mine. No, I'm afraid. To, I'm afraid to say, Eric, you've got company. Three. The three others, not including Melinda, but including Raman. Uh, yeah, uh, are with you at the alleyway entrance. And um, if I get a chance, I do just yeah. whisper when I catch up. Just go, listen. I saw a bloke. Hoodie looked like a. I, I think he's probably a dealer or something. I just wanted to give you a heads oh, up. Oh no, because I don't want you getting mugged or anything. Jesus. Oh, oh shit, a dealer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it like that? Because I might have to do a psychology <laughs> oh, roll. No. Can, can Alicia and Ray do a psychology roll? Oh, a dealer. I do, oh, I do. Okay, yeah. Actually, I'll tell you what, Eric. Oh, no. Eric, <laughs> Eric, could you give me an acting oh, yeah. role? Uh, <laughs> you've got 1% acting, right? Oh, you never know. Got. Yeah, nothing to the base. <laughs> no, almost a fumble. <laughs> uh, no, 94. <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> Annoyingly, I've rolled a 15 on my 10 psychology, the base. Oh, Ooh, distressing. I'm, I don't think it's worth I've spending rolled, a luck on something. Uh, I've rolled a 43, my psychology's not going to be... Amazingly, it. amazingly, he got away he's, with it. He's he's acting he's acting a bit weirdly, but... Yeah. Yeah. But also, I think that's the moment, Ray, where you, you sort of look around, and this is quite squalid, and you see the alleyway behind. I think all three of you see this, obviously. Um, there's there's bin, bin liners and a couple of classic old black really nondescript bins not even the kind of classy ones that you not classy mm. but not even the modern ones that you open the thing and put the, it's just like classic yeah, yeah. old circular mm. yeah almost like Dust they're bin. made of old tires dustbins mm. yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and they, they sort of scattered down and then you get a bit of vegetation at the other end and definitely a fence that's overgrown with stuff and it gets a bit blurry at the far, far yeah. end and the absolute reality of it Ray yeah 
gives you the opportunity to increase your sanity because you rolled a one. Oh, I am. You're very much in the real. So, could you give me a sanity roll? Yeah, lovely. Love to. I got a, I got a thirteen. A thirteen on my sixty. Yeah. So no, but I've, but I'm in the real. I think I get very much in the real. I know I'm lucid, which is a good thing. I think I interpret my failure on psychology uh, and as Eric's awkwardness there to Ray. I interpret as Eric's class consciousness. Mm. So I turn to Ray and say, "Just because it's a young man in a hoodie doesn't mean it's a drug dealer, Ray. It could just be a local teenager." They probably don't have much to do around here. Oh. There's probably no youth club. I know, Alicia. I'm I'm not one to judge. No, I'm just saying. But there's needles all over the grass around there. Oh, well... And he looked very, very much on edge. He looked like it... I'll be honest with you two. I think he was waiting... I think he was waiting for Sarah. Well, do you you want me to go and have a word with him? I'll I'll ask him, you know, we'll just find out. I I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, he might have a knife or something. Wait a minute. If he is a drug dealer or a user... Yeah. He might be the... (laughs) <laughs> did you just have a moment a I just minute. had a moment <laughs> I just had a moment of our listeners being like is this what people sound like in the UK <laughs> normal for North some of them it's, normal um, it's, it's nothing like it. well yeah I mean, fair enough yeah. one more normal also, day yeah, I just have to take it I have to take it <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let, to be fair if if he's a drug if he's a drug dealer or a user, because it's not in the real... If you're saying he looks anxious, nervous, he might have been a user. It might be Sarah who's yeah, dealing. Absolutely. Nothing is impossible. This isn't a Labour Party conference, Alicia. I, I know this stuff. <laughs> there they are. Well, I, but what I'm saying is he might be good to talk to because he probably hangs around. He might have. He might know who the man is who comes round... And if there's, you know, um, if if he does come round, what's his face? The man who brought us all together. David Bell. No, no, David, David, David. No, no, David. I agree, Alicia. There's all sorts of things we can find out from this guy. I just think you should let me go and speak to him. Well, I'll just go and speak to him now. I think we should all speak you guys... him together. He's very dangerous if he is a, if he is a hardened drug dealer uh, and raise right. I don't understand why we're confronting this person, we're not whether con- he's a hardened drug dealer or not. We're not confronting him. What, what we do absolutely we... Shouldn't are, are we confront- buying drugs? Well, f- fuck it, we've fucked it now. What's the point now? We've fucked it. Let's just go back to the house. <laughs> fuck, we've fucked it. <laughs> Why don't we pretend to buy drugs? Why don't we do that? Because then... Oh, what are we doing? Are you talking? Awesome. Have a nice this is time. mental. If we confront him, he'll get defensive. But if we go in and say, hello, we're not from the police, we've got a friend who's in trouble, and I'm sure you've got friends in trouble too. <laughs> that, that's a fantastic idea, and I, that's an excellent idea, and I think probably I should um, I should take the lead on that. We shouldn't all go in together, and that's no one's going to believe the three of us have gone to buy some Chang. Oh, some um, you know, some hard class A drugs of whatever variety he sells. Um, but if I go on my own, I'd, I'm happy to negotiate. I, I often have difficult negotiations on the antiques fairs. <laughs> Listen, Eric, if you want to go chat to him. I've got to be honest, I, you're both acting like fucking nutcases, but if you really want to go and talk to a drug dealer for some reason... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sw- sweat pouring down my face. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you, but I'm not going down there. Nutcases? keep your phones on, yeah? Eric, could you give me a spot hidden? Mm-hmm. I've got a dog in a papoose. <laughs> the other two of you could give me a spot hidden with a, with a penalty die. Fuck oh, it. Okay. You know it's got its own legs. <laughs> I've failed, but... Ooh, that's a 96. I feel like I am looking for this guy, so I'm tempted to push it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I definitely have pushed was, for you. Sorry, Joseph, was that with a penalty with die With a penalty me? die, I'm afraid, yes. 96 for me, <gasps> No, it's good! I've still succeeded. 52 on my 55... Spot hidden, right? Yeah, spot hidden. Fucking yes. Ooh. Finally. Finally, my life's turning around. With a penalty die, nice. 96, Ooh. was that a fumble? <laughs> and what, Dan and got, has Dan and got a fumble? Uh, well, my spot hidden's 45. And you rolled a... 96 is a fumble. 96, yeah. Yep, OK. Oh, it is just, yeah. I think I am going to push it. Uh, I think... <laughs> I think I push it by just saying, look, what's the point in hanging around here? I'll just go and have a look. And um, I, I I, just sort of dart a little way down the alleyway. alleyway. I kind of push past them both quite rudely. Easy. Right. Oh, well... <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? Push roll. I rolled a hundred. Oh! Fuck a doodle do. 
is going on? It's very high rolling, guys. That's the full fucking gamma of disasters. <laughs> so, well, you gave me the gift, so if it's all right with you, as you step past, you feel this intense pain in your foot, and you, and you lean on uh, Ray, and you push Ray over. Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> now, what did you do with the needle, Ray? Could you hook me up? <gasps> no. Oh, I, I didn't pick you it didn't, up. You didn't, I was you didn't pick it up. Yeah, yeah, I was, I'd yeah, kept an a, eye on that a, area of... Okay. Yeah. Didn't pick up that needle. Yeah. No. So, so Ray, uh, you get pushed over. Oh, uh, yeah. fuck, sorry. Ah. Alicia also gets pushed oh. back. And as Alicia gets pu- pushed back, oh. weirdly, that just gives her just a tiny extra little angle down at the alleyway. And you see this face. It's got long, dark hair, pale face, long, dark hair. And it looks around the alleyway. It looks quite young. I mean, like a teenager, you realise now. Wait a when minute. you first saw it. And, and then it just disappears down the alleyway. It's a goth. Does it look like the face I saw in the, in the cinema bar? Does it? Long dark hair. Check your real face. Could it have been wearing... He... Would it, could it... Rasputin. I think the, the hair on your arms pricks up, and that's why you don't notice as Eric pulls away, and he's got this, he's got this needle stuck through his shoe. Uh. And, he holds his, and he holds his foot up, and he goes... And, uh, Eric's got this needle on his shoe. Uh, Ray's gone straight down on his on his coccyx, yeah. and you just hit something hard. Ah! Oh fuck! And it it really hurts. Uh, and this sort of Keystone Cops uh, classic from the Apocalypse players in slow motion occurs, where you've hurt your back for a, for a hit point of damage, Ray West. Yeah. Yeah, but it makes sense. I could have fallen better, but I was protecting Raman, so I had to go straight down on the coccyx. Uh, you know. Eric Wilson, a freakish hypodermic needle is in your foot. Is it in the foot? Yeah. It's not just in his shoe. It, oh, no. Oh, no. That was the intense pain. It sort of slipped in through the nice Italian leather somehow. Somehow. Oh, Surely impossibly. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, and, Alicia, you've seen this figure. And we'll cut back to... Sean's sat there. He's um, he's pale. He's, very, he's pale. He's got very short hair at the sides. Kind of, he's done something with gel in the top, but it's a bit of a mess. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's possibly a little bit overweight, you'd say. Maybe too many snacks in the afternoon. I mean, it's four thirty. Well, I know that. Yeah, I know that problem. <laughs> I'm after me on her. You're right, Sean. What are you playing? Call of Duty. All right. Like you're interested. It doesn't look at you. How's uh, how's your evening well, been? Why are you making that insectoid me? noise? <laughs> That's weird. It's yeah. horrible, isn't it? <laughs> You've been playing this since you got off school. Okay, now he does look at you. Are you a friend of my mum's? Yeah, yeah. We went to uh, uni together back in the day. Yeah, I knew your mum when she was about twenty. Hmm. Okay. You see him studying you, and if you if. You, I mean, you're pretty sure he's probably trying a psychology test on you. Mm. And his face creases up and goes, No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. <laughs> no, you weren't. Go talk about Oxsock to you. His, his whole focus was going back, but that way in which children do, the, the weirdness of what you said sort of draws your... His, your it's not that he recognises it, but you've drawn his attention. What's an Oxsock? Oxsock. Oh, well... What do you know about magic, Sean? I'm not talking about rabbits out of hats. I'm not talking about getting handkerchiefs out of your pocket and <sighs> rainbow doves flying. He rolls his eyes, I mean, looks back at things and says, you're a friend of David's. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. Do you, do you see much of him? Sometimes. Yeah, Did you, have you seen him... Have you seen him this week? You seen him today? Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, ah, are you? Sean, are you, ah. you all right? Sorry, yeah, I was just uh, missed that loot case. Oh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to make you miss it. <laughs> uh, we we're talking about David. Have you seen him this week? In your mama. What are you, a journalist? I am, as a matter of fact. But this isn't for a story. I'm just, I'm just interested. David was a mate of mine from back in the day as well. I'm catching up with my friends. I'm just wondering if he's been around. He pauses the game. Ooh! That's a breakthrough. And, and looks at you and goes, go into my room. And, okay. And right. goes out through the door. Uh, he turns, I think, 
you know, your journalistic senses, he turns right immediately out the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and you hear someone running uh, down the stairs. He's going upstairs, you realise. Mm-hmm. And you're pretty sure the person running is uh, Sarah. Mm-hmm. So they're crossing on the stairs. By the sound of it. Yeah. Because you hear her. Are you right? Are you all right, darling? Go to my room. Are you not enjoying your game? She stops on the stairs. You can hear all this. The door's open. He goes, I don't care. You hear, you hear a door slam. Uh, and you hear her going back up the stairs for a few brief moments. As if she might be stopping on the stairs. And then says, What do you want for dinner? Nothing. No reply. Are you going to do anything? Or are you just going to wait there? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to have a look around the room quickly. If there's a bookcase, I'll scan it. If there's stuff on the table... Yeah, you give me... Give me a... Hmm. You can, either do, you can either do a spot hidden or you could do a psychology. Oh... Spot hidden would be you sort of leaping in and just searching and just like mm. going. Right. Uh, uh, I'm going to do spot hidden because I think that's more that's more journalistic, isn't it? Whereas psychology would be you like sort of taking stock and kind of being like a detective, or, you know? <laughs> so like, hmm, what do I see in this oh. room? What do I really see? Your choice. Psychology. <gasps> Twenty-two on a thirty. Oh. Smack my ass. Awesome. <laughs> No pictures on the walls. Only thing of value in the room is the TV. Uh, there's a rug down. That's it for decoration. Okay. Uh, fireplace. You can see some dust around some things that could have once been there that have all gone. Uh, there's a there's a cardboard box which is unopened. Looks like a moving cardboard box which is next to the three seater sofa that the kid was lying on. There's a chair as well and the the curtains are drawn cool you see a school bag over by the corner by the shoes that you missed on entry just a little satchel Mm -hmm. mhm and there's then there's some post tucked behind it yeah I'm gonna go for the post the bag and the post please so you do a kind of rifling search through that um, as you hear her coming downstairs, the thing that you see is bill payments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, unopened. Red, red, red ink on the envelopes. Some, some red ink. Yeah. Okay. In in the school bag, you see a a warning notice regarding uh, attendance. Oh shit. Oh, depressing, 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 depressing. Okay, got it. Yeah. Cool. And I push it all back again quickly. And just in time, as the door opens, and Sarah comes in and her eyes are so bright and she goes oh thanks uh, thanks I feel a bit better that I've cleared up a bit now do you want to do you want to come through I think the kitchen's okay I'll make you a brew if you like okay yeah <laughs> a brew of what a witch's brew <laughs> <laughs> possibly not I have newton leg of toad <laughs> iron brew iron brew <laughs> and iron brew and vodka jelly toad. shots let's go <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, great. Couple would be great. Let's let's go through. I'm sorry about Sean. I didn't mean to scare him off his game. I think he was just, you know, grown ups. So. Oh, kids, kids. They're just so difficult, aren't they? Yeah. He's lovely though. And you go through to the you go through to the kitchen as you say he's lovely though. Which we cut back to the alleyway. I'm running after the the man I saw. Yeah. While there's all this disarray, I have to know if he was the man from the cinema. Mm, yeah. So I sprint down the gully. Yeah. Uh, good. Well, in which case, probably careening off the fences as I go. Uh, it's uh, well. So these are this is walls all the way up. These are two houses on either side. And then, yeah, lovely. And then, so as you're going, so you're having to negotiate a few. So if you're sprinting, knocking pebble down. I am going to ask for a uh, acrobatics. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to ask for a uh, dexterity, <laughs> <laughs> just on the off chance, since everyone else is rolling a hundred. Let's see. Okay, Let us see. Uh, who? Me. No, no, oh, not you. You're, 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 you're hurt. So, so unfair yeah. that Ray, in that <laughs> moment. Brilliant observation is what yeah. the word is. Okay, it's going a bit wrong. Um, 
so I'm going to push the roll. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, I'm excited. Oh, oh, here we go. I feel I feel my my ankle sort of start to roll, and I think no no, oh, no no no. So I Not today I steady myself on a bin, but in so doing, throw the bin out the way. I like it. Keep sprinting as hard as yeah, I can. Almost using it to propel yourself forwards. Yeah, exactly. I've done that with bollards. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful like a gazelle in full flight. Fantastic. That's an eight. That's an extreme success. Oh, perfect. Eight-legged gazelle. When you pick the right bin, there's something really weighty in it, and it really holds, and you sort of push off. The chopped up kids. Body. Box. Box body spiled up. And you really, you sprint to the end, and you see this, you see this figure moving much less quickly. I mean, it's really underestimated. He's really underestimated you. Uh, he's sort of loafing, jogging along. Um, he might be 16, maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit old. It's difficult to say he's sort of skinny. And he sort of looks around in, in horror. Uh, it's just at that distance that you just can't quite make out the facial features. Very pale, sharp-nosed, dark eyes, very long, dark hair, this hood up. It's got quite dark clothes. There's, there's a kind of some kind of logo on his um, T-shirt. Some kind of I don't know. These these kids today, they all have sort of weird icons. Like I don't know. Is it some kind of? Is it? It looks a bit like tentacles, maybe coming down out of clouds or something. You know, you're not <laughs> sure. Or, or maybe some someone vomiting, or maybe a tongue coming out of the mouth. You're not sure. So anyway, what? Uh, he turns and, and 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 runs and then ducks in to the house, the third house on the left. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not from the police. 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 Rings off the pebble dash. And the other two of you hear this oh, as you're getting up. Uh, Ray, you can see there's this oh, hypodermic fuck. needle with a broken off end. Uh, Shit. Oh, right. Mm. Cut, sticking, out of, sticking out of his foot. Right, stay still. Shit. Shit. Fuck, get it. Get it out. Get it out. Yeah, give me two seconds. Calm down, Ram. It's all right. It's all right. Just hold still. Hold your foot up. Well, is it is it going to be like a? I do. I kind of lean against the wall and hold my yeah, hold my foot up yeah. best I can. I thought it was a cancer. It's a sepsis. It gets him. I, I take another doggy back out of my hand and sort of wrap it yeah, that, my hand in the doggy back as if it's a surgical glove. And I sort of nice and slippy though. Want to grab? But yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to grab the needle end. Obviously, is is it pointing which direction is it going well, through? The... So it's sort of it's gone in through the leather somehow. It's just like a tiny break in the leather there. Yeah. In the side of my shoe, basically. Yeah, right? yeah, in the side of the shoes. Freakish. It's really freakish. Right. Yeah. Um, right, hold still. I want to try and... Pull it out. Pull yeah. it out. You don't have to run. Uh, is that first yeah. aid or is it just... Okay. I mean, it's... Yeah, I pull There's it out straight and I chuck it to the side. Oh, fuck, these are grunchsome loafers. It's, yeah. There's a nerve-wracking moment and you see just there's that... It's... You, and you see just there's that it's, you know the point where the toes of the, of the foot have bent and bent and bent and there's just a tiny crack in the leather and it must have just been sat very oddly and you just sort of swept into it as you, as you pushed them over or pushed him over uh, bollocks oh shit well that was what is she doing we're going to have to get you to A&E mate because we got to get that checked out you yeah. can't I mean it could have HIV it could be I don't want to panic you but we should just be on the safe side what is she doing yeah, down there we're going to have the whole estate after us look we don't it can wait we don't have to I'll go, tonight I'll go tonight that'll be fine a couple of hours well sooner the better I mean with these things but Fuck it. what is can we still see Alicia down the alleyway as, as I sort of get I don't know Alicia did you stop dramatically in the T-junction or did you run immediately if I saw the house I'm going to go and knock on the door yeah, do you, I think as you look you see her go so we see which direction she... You just see her. So she's turned left. She's turned left, yeah, from your perspective. Jesus Christ. What was all that about? I mean, it's a drug deal. Why are we chasing drug dealers? It doesn't make any sense. What were we hoping for? What's she doing? I, would, I was hoping for fucking drugs, to be honest. <laughs> right. OK, well... There you go. Now you know. Now you know. OK, good, good. I'm not gonna judge you but i mean surely you can get them from somewhere more reputable what what is it you're on like painkillers well i was gonna stop at mecca bingo on the way (laughs) does that help ease the pain or (laughs) more reputable no that's weird (laughs) (laughs) apparently that's where you can score around here but right with the accident everyone just got carried away and we ended up here and just 
I saw that guy. Oh, and... Mate, I didn't know. Oh, Ray, I fucked, I fucked it, I fucked it. Mate, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. I, fu- I fucked it, I fuck, fuck my whole fucking life. What is it? What is it that you're on? Well, I'm not fu- fucking nothing for nine years. I've been clean nine years. Well, don't fuck that up now, mate. Jesus Christ. So I think you hear yourself say that, Ray, and you hear John Vinicor's head in your uh, head in your mind. <gasps> <gasps> Voice <laughs> in your head. <laughs> Roll Sam. He's got an enormous head as well. Yeah. The sniper's dream, we used to call him. You hear John Vinicor's voice in your in your head, who you haven't really thought about that much, but you were friends. Yeah. Yeah, we were. Sometimes you wondered if he might have wanted it to be something more than that? Yeah. We never talked about it, I don't think, but you get that vibe. But you remember how good he is at talking to people who have compulsive issues. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and you and you hear what you've just said, and you go, ah, and you see this sort of glazed expression on Eric's sweating, pale face, and 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 you just see one of his eye, one of his um, eyes looks a little loose, slightly in that moment. Oh, for fuck's sake! Um, in in God. in his face, I think. God, if only I'd chosen to be John this morning. Oh well. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. Um, are you all right, mate? <laughs> We're all hung in the balance. Mate, we'll, we'll get you to any, okay? Like, we don't have to talk about this. I'm, I'm not very good with this stuff, but I'm not judging you. I, I didn't know. Yeah, I know. Just sometimes, sometimes I wish I was Maggie or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know the feeling, weirdly. <sighs> Listen, we need to get Alicia. Where the fuck has she run off to? Why is she chasing a 16 year old who's probably got a. Shiv down his pants. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. We should we should ca- we should catch up with her. Well, we should, but we've left Melinda in here. Yeah, I suppose that's the main thing. Are you all right? Can you walk? Yeah, yeah, it does. Right. Okay, but it doesn't hurt too We much. go into any after this, and I'm not going to hear any words about. All right, all right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So there's gates along the back alleyway, Dom, mm-hmm. uh, and you're pretty sure that this kid has gone into the third gate along. Um, oh. Do you want to? Well, I'll certainly go and put my head over the gate. Ah, uh, oh, it's right. tall. You'd you'd have to climb it. Yeah. Oh, in that case, I'll. Is the gate open? Right. So you try the gate. Yeah. Is it? Does it go into someone's back garden? Is that? It what looks it? like it. They will go into back gardens. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a bit invasive, isn't it? Um, well, I tell you what. Give me an idea. Mm, no, I tell you what. What's your intelligence? Well, I might knock. Huh? What's your intelligence? Sixty. Yeah, that's good enough. Like you're pretty sure this is. This is Sarah's place. Oh. I sort of I sort of do a double take and go <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> and then I try the gate. Yeah, it's locked. Or appears to be. Fuck. I bang on the gate. Sarah? So Melinda, you are Yo. uh, lads, you're Going down the alleyway, obviously, and carefully. May I ask a question? Please do. I, you don't have to. You don't have to answer it because it's a bit meta. Because obviously, I'm not. I am not exper- experiencing what Dom's experiencing. <clears throat> but just to be clear about th- this, yes, yeah. because it's exciting as a player. Uh, has he just got turned? Has he? Has he? She sort of got just turned around, and it could quite literally be Sarah's place, or has suddenly. Space and time. No, no, it's the back of Sarah's place. He's done a he's done a <laughs> yeah. rectangle. He's done a little yeah, yeah. a little a little yeah. loop. Okay. That's There's no true. test required. It's just like, <laughs> like if, if you'd had under yeah, fifty yeah. intelligence, <laughs> I would have made you make a test. <laughs> it's not like it's gone in a straight but line. Sixty's right, fine. He's back You're smart enough to go, oh hang on a second. <laughs> I think I might just be at the back of that same building <laughs> that I was just out sort of outside the front yeah. door. I quite got to the front door. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's a valid extra. in this yeah, yeah. In this mad world, it is a very yeah, 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 yeah. question. <laughs> and definitely a boy, teenager. Because you're saying 16. Angelica is about that right age. She would be going Skinny. back to the house. Oh. Mm. Long hair. The hood I off. think the keeper never said a boy. I think the keeper yeah. never said a boy. said they, didn't we? I, yeah, and I think Alicia may have said he, the boy. But I, If they've got a hood up. Yeah, because that's what I assume. That's what I, what I remember hearing. Definitely a dealer. Right, there's that class consciousness again. Wheeler dealer. So, Melinda, you 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 go into a kitchen which is pretty um, sparse, and it meets the same breakdown as except without the cardboard box. Actually, yeah, see, there's no cardboard box in this room. You get this definite sense of there's only the basics in here. 
Yep. Nothing decorative. Nothing decorative. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna make me a, the witch's brew. Oh, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yorkshire gold and pig's blood. <laughs> Every time she offers me a cup of tea, this music comes on. It's very sinister. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? No, actually, no. I'm all right. Thanks. Imagine if that happened at home. Melinda Moody. Hello. She, so she sort of sk- she's going around the kitchen at a thousand miles an hour, going, "I'll just get you. Uh, yeah. I'll get. I'll get you this um, cup of tea. Uh, do you take milk? And uh, was it sugar?" Sarah, what have you taken? What? You've just taken something, haven't you? What? When we got to the house, you she were, freezes. You were in a bad way. You were in a bad way. You were sweating. You were all over the place. And now you're all bright-eyed and up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. You know, there's no judgment here. I, I, I've taken stuff in my time, but like, what are you taking? Are you all right? I just... <sighs> she, she... It's a classic formica-covered table in the centre with four chairs around and she just sort of sits down on one of the chairs and starts crying oh. and and says I'm sorry I just I really needed something to pick me up you know I just yeah. I get into a cycle of up and down and I okay no I, I get I understand I've been there I've been I thought there. Angelica's supposed to be here and she's not here and I just I get worried about Sean if she's got okay she's supposed to be back from school already and she hasn't been and I just you know okay but why don't I make you a cup of tea no, 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 I've got to do that. I've got to do that. I've got to make it for you. You're in my home. <laughs> you know, you don't need to, my love. I can make that for you. It's. Fine. I mean, she you gets up and she sort of gives you a half-hearted attempt at... Are you going to push the point or are you... Uh, no, I think if she, if she really wants to, then, you know... She sort of turns her back on you and sort of cool. wipes tears away and sniffs loudly. Oh, dear. And, and it says, was it sugar? Yeah, two, please. She gets some. She gets some. She gets some sugar, uh, and uh, she's sort of goes into the pantry to get that. She obviously doesn't actually have sugar in her tea, and this that's the pantry is just on the right hand side of the kitchen. There's another door that leads out into what looks like a, a scruffy yard. The last dying dregs of some grass are in one corner, and some pretty sorry looking garden furniture, like a like an old pub uh, table, outdoor beer garden table, mm. and a few chairs. And this is the back garden that I can see. Yeah. Uh, could you give me? Could you give me a spot hidden? I could. I tell you what, I'm going to give you a bonus die on this one. Ooh. Another fumble. Don't even push your luck. Because I, f- I feel like you're looking. You you've drawn some conclusions, so you're looking for micro details. Yes, thank you. It's a 15 on a 35. Nice, nice. Very good roll. Okay, uh, there's a few pictures on the fridge held up with magnets. uh, And there's a place where a photo once was. And another photo once was, but they're they're not there anymore. Okay. They're sort of... I mean, the truth is, you can see them because of the dust. Yeah. And the dirt. I mean, it doesn't look out of place in the context of the rest of the you know it's just and obviously you know it's not filthy in here it's just it's not that clean yeah yeah by the way you're also getting this slightly strange sickly sweet smell oh um, where's that coming from it's just general okay uh, in, in the kitchen you're getting this general, mm. general sickly sweet smell mm. not really um, I mean like does it smell like rotting no like rotting? more like no. dead fox I was going to say. More like rich petals. Rich petals. Okay. Condensed, condensed into a paste. Okay. And then potentially that could be, you know, burnt and reduced down to a resin, maybe. Oh. Um, <laughs> for example. Okay, gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> if you like. Sage. That's the if sort of like. imaging that, that we're going to play with here. Mm. Okay. Um, but you just think about those photos that when you see down on the side between the classic space between fridge freezer, it's one of those tower ones and the work surface cupboard, you just see the oh, yes. glint of a classic edge of a photograph Ooh. down by the side but obviously she's she's like, she's got her back to you in the pantry and she's saying, I'm really sorry I should have said that that's what I needed, I, I'm out of the habit of being honest, I'm, I'm not like you and Alicia, you're just so strong, I guess that's why David always Anyway, and she's she really she comes away and she sort of 
looks at you but looks away immediately and goes, I've got some biscuits in here, I think. Angelica likes them. That's okay. David always what? David always what? Go on, finish that sentence. Well, he always trusted the two of you for other things, didn't he? Not not like me and Bridget. Other things. It's all right. Go on, it's all right. So she direct trails off. She just sort of shakes her head. She's still got her back to you. I'm going to reach for that photo, please. What's your uh, sleight of hand like? Mm. Or are you going to do this publicly? Oh no, sleight of hand. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be so leading, but I got the vague impression that maybe. <laughs> it's a thirty. May I roll? You may. Thirty. Nice. Not too shabby. <gasps> it's a six. Oh no, wait. It's a nine. Hey. Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> So a hard success. Very hard. Uh, so she turns away and... Well, you, you tell me. She's, t- she's turning away. She can't look at you. She's making these cups of tea. Yeah. She's getting... She's got one of those big multi-packs of biscuits. Those family boxes. Mm. That, you know, you open it and then instantly all the biscuits go off and go soft straight away. Oh, on. yeah. So yeah. if you don't eat the whole thing in like a day, they're just disgusting. Yeah, horrible. Uh, especially in this kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my nan's... She always insists on you having a biscuit as well. Um, but I reached down, I reached down uh, to the shiny edge of the photo that I can see poking out from between the sideboard and the edge of the fridge. And uh, and I get it. I managed to get hold of it. And I I pull it up and sort of tuck it tuck it onto the inside of my cardigan arm, my capacious yes, cardigan yeah. sleeve, yeah. which can more than hide the width and breadth of a single photo oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> definitely and I look at it and I see oh you're going to look yeah oh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do I see right right what do I see brace yourself what do your elf eyes see brace yourselves I know what she sees maybe I don't know <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, I'm I'm teasy that's not that's not fair that's teasing <laughs> so it's a picture of it's a picture of Sarah Looking much, much fuller of face and figure, she looks rather pretty. You remember how lovely looking she was when she, when, when she was, when she was younger. She's always, yeah, she's a good-looking girl, good-looking. Yeah. And there's a picture of Sean smiling. Aww. Maybe a year ago, maybe not sure, maybe a couple of years ago, maybe. Um, uh, less, less silly hair, less sort of dark t-shirt, just less, less pasty face, less, less weight on him. Happier days. Happier days. Uh, but there's a picture also there of the two other people, uh, Angelica. Actually, no, it's, it's, this isn't two years ago. Sorry, my, my bad. This is this is like maybe six months. Thirty-seven ago. years ago. Uh, maybe six months. <laughs> maybe six months. A hundred and five <laughs> years ago. Uh, and there's a picture of David. Barbara. Oh God. Ooh. I knew it. I knew it. The hairs are standing off my arms. Could you give me a... Well, that was a hard spot hidden, right? You did... Oh, yeah. To, to find this paper, this this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me... Uh... Oh, you are a hard <laughs> taskmaster. I think I'll give it to you for the, for the hard spot hidden. Yeah, yeah. What's your psychology? Thanks. Um... Psychology is 30. I just expressed a theory to Dom in the chat seven minutes ago, and you might be about to prove me right. Exciting. Mm. Oh, it's mm. private. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah then she just done. theories. No, um, I haven't. Yeah, it's I think you're right. Because of right. partly because of what you've experienced. Oh, mm. there's, some, there's something about the the angles and lines of David's and Angelica's bodies. Ah. It oh. suggests attraction. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's oh. not nice. Oh no. Oh, that's blown my theory out of the oh. water. Or has it? Um, <laughs> I hope it has. That's horrible. Oh no. So okay. you're looking at this, and then you and then you hear this <laughs> this this knocking <gasps> on the oh Christ on the on the gate in the in the in the in the garden. And oh, God. you hear a voice, a deep, aggressive voice, saying, "What was it you said, Alicia?" Uh, Sarah. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> uh, uh, and it's such a it's such a shock. Could you give me a dexterity check? Yes, I could give you a dexterity check. Are you taking a piss? No, darling. <laughs> oh, <gasps> it's a zero. Zero, zero, oh, zero. Oh, zero, 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 zero. That that we call that a hundred. Yeah, that's a fumble. Yeah, it's a yeah. Seven to, just seven to five. I've never had one before. This is very exciting for me. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> pop my uh, cherry. Uh, yeah. So the you, you just you pop the 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 photo up and it flies out and it lands on the table, and pop Sarah it. turns around at the sound and sees this photo come up land on the table from out of your capacious cardigan. She looks at it and then she looks at you with hate in that split Ooh. second. Ooh. Okay. And we'll have to take a break there. <gasps> oh man! Now I'm at the gate. <laughs> Sorry about the fumble. <laughs> All right. Really sorry, but like, how many, oh. how many hundreds have we had today? Two. There's been and, and three. About four ninety-sixes. Two ninety-eights. Two ninety-sixes. Astonishing, astonishing, and a couple of really yeah. juicy low rolls. A one. Yeah. A nine and an eight, I think. Yeah. Nice. And we are all so using think... the dice that that Joseph sent us, right? Yeah. The, right. The heavy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm using the uh, the official Paul Fricker dice. Yeah. You could start to just <laughs> whisper, as you say. You could just start to whisper the following. Um ara arum ash ad ethenon el es Cthulhu Asturiel ish al het Hastur ek ab atur ichan mubachir fel. And, and you've that that creak is your back. It's not my it's not my stupid fucking yeah. chair. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my stupid well, fucking back. Chair. I tried oiling it today, guys, and that didn't work. So uh, I hate it. Just sat in a pile of oil. I love it, Jeannie, because you, you got it for me. But I've got, I'm stupid. I should get a new one. Uh, and this sort of Keystone Cops uh, classic from the Apocalypse players in slow motion occurs.